Hi everyone, this is Shruti and in today's video, I'm excited to share with you a strategy that I have been trying out for the last month and a half to see how can I use TikTok to actually make money online. And I'm going to be sharing this with you. And no, this is not about affiliate marketing or drop shipping or even about making money through brand deals or sponsorships. This is going to be how I'm making money through digital products that I have created for myself and I sell through my own website. But before we dive in, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you find value you in my videos. I am so thankful for your support. And with that, let's dive in. Okay, so step number one here is pretty simple. And that's going to be you creating a personal account on TikTok. And the reason why I mention a personal account and not a business account is because with a personal account, one, you have access to more trending sounds and a bigger music library to leverage for your content. And also you have access to what I believe more algorithmic freedom versus when you have a business account. So this is something that I I'm speaking from just my own experience and I've tried using both a personal account and a business account on TikTok and personally I have seen my content grow much faster when I'm using a personal or a creator account versus when I'm using a business account. So that's what I would recommend you to do specifically at the beginning. So once you've created a TikTok account, step two is to create a product that solves a problem. Now emphasis on solving a problem. There are millions and millions of products out there and thousands and thousands of creators. What is going to make you your product stand out amidst the sea of crap, right? So you want to be making sure that you are creating a product that not only solves a problem that your audience has or a problem that has been known to be solved by, you know, other competitors, but you also want to make sure that it's a high quality product that you're delivering because that is going to be the interaction that your potential customers and, you know, followers have with your brand. So you want to make sure that at this stage, you're really taking the time to research and create a product that adds value to your followers' lives. Now, there's so many different ways of creating a product and I generally tend to recommend Canva as a beginner just because it is so easy to design and create a product there and you can combine that with using either Google Docs or Google Sheets to you know brainstorm and brain dump your product there's so many ways you can go about it so if you have an existing audience you can ask them over email you can run a poll on your Instagram stories you can send them a DM and ask them questions about what they're struggling with so simply ask and you will get the answer if you don't have an existing audience you can look at different market research tools so one of my favorite tools which I accidentally discovered is called E-Rank and that is going to give you a lot of information on what's selling on Etsy, what's selling on Amazon so you can figure out what are the types of products that your audience or potential audience might be interested in. And last but not least, there's always competitor research so you can look at you know other people who you aspire to be like or other people who have the level of income let's say that you're going for from digital products. Go and check out what is their product suite, right? Could you offer similar products in a similar space? Now this doesn't mean that you steal their info because that's that's copyright infringement but what you can do is take inspiration from the types of products that they're selling and use that to create a product of your own step three once you have created your product and you are ready to sell it is to set up the tech now when it comes to selling a product there are two main functions that you're looking at a platform number one is going to be hosting your product so if you have your own blog or your website you could create a URL or simply upload your product to your media library and you could share that URL with anyone who buys your product but let's assume that you don't have a blog or a website Website. In this case, you can use really simple to use platforms like Stan or Teachable, which are two of my favorite platforms that I use in my business in order to sell digital products. Now, Stan is a platform where you can accept payments, you can create mini digital products as well as courses, even things like one on one coaching calls and, you know, digital services. And when it comes to Teachable, you can also do all of the same, but it's not really a platform that is service focused. So Teachable would be a great place if you have digital downloads or you have, you know, any kind of courses or educational information that you want to so at this stage, you want to be taking the time to set up your tech, make sure that your payment platforms are integrated, you've created your PayPal or your Stripe account, whatever else you need to make this work and make sure that you have uploaded your product to this platform and created a sales page for your audience where they can actually go and buy this product. Now, if you want to have a look at what these sales pages could look like, you can check out the links in my description box under the resources section and you'll be able to see what a sales page looks like. Now, don't get overwhelmed because depending on, you know, where you are, on your journey you don't need to have a fancy sales page or like a thousand word sales page if you're selling a mini digital product anything under let's say fifty dollars you don't need an exquisite copywritten professional sales page you can simply talk about the benefits of the products what is the product going to help your audience with any testimonials that you might have your own journey of you know having used that product or creating that product and that's pretty much it when it comes to a sales page okay so let's move on to where things get exciting and this is going to be step four and this is to create 
create content that sells. Now I have to say that this is one of the most important steps to figure out in your entire journey of selling through TikTok because TikTok content is not like, you know, what used to be the type of content that we were used to a couple of years ago, which would, you know, be Instagram content or even Pinterest content where you would just put up a picture and people would buy from seeing that picture. Like that doesn't work anymore. So people are looking for engaging, exciting content that allows them to connect with you as a brand and showcases what value your product can provide. Now, it doesn't have to be you showing up in front of the camera all the time. It really depends on what type of business you're creating. You could really even show behind the scenes. You can show tutorials. You can show people how your product or products are going to change their life and make things better for them. So there are really different types of content that you can create on TikTok to sell your product. But the main aim of creating this content is to build in the no like and trust factor, which is so, so critical when it comes to making sales online. Now, it doesn't matter whether you use TikTok or any other platform, people will only be comfortable to shell out money or, you know, take out their credit card and pay for your product if they're comfortable with who you are and what you represent as a brand and they trust you enough to actually go and order your product. So in this case, you want to be creating content that allows them to know, like and trust you. And over time, this is what is going to build your brand online. And you want to make sure that you're setting the right foundation pretty much from the beginning. Now, when it comes to what types of content you can create to sell on TikTok, the first and you know most common type of content that you will see created is trending content. So this could be trending music, it could be dance moves, it could be some sort of a monologue or like a dialogue with you know different takes. It's open to how you want to interpret it and how you want to use it. But definitely using trending music and sounds is a big game changer, specifically at the beginning when nobody really knows who you are and what you're all about. The second type of content that you can create create is this type of content which I'm creating right now on YouTube and this is educational content. This is content that teaches your audience something specific about anything related to your product. So let's say that you are you know a career coach and you're selling resume templates and you also offer let's say coaching in this particular niche. So in that case you can be creating content around what are the mistakes that people make when they are writing their resume? What are the most you know common myths in this industry? Or you can tell them more about the step-by-step -step process of getting success. You can tell them about mistakes. You can share your own story and how you discovered what you discovered. There really is so many ways to educate your audience. So the more creative you can get, the better. And the third type of content, which you can also create, which is one of the easiest things to do on TikTok is to simply reply to comments and reply to questions that people are asking to you on your Instagram DMs. You can even look up bigger influencers, creators in your space, go and check out their videos, look at what are the comments that people are asking or the questions that people are asking and go and create a video on those questions. Really, when it comes to content ideas, there is no lack of inspiration in the TikTok world. So all you have to do is spend a little bit of time brainstorming what are the problems or what are the challenges that your audience is having and how you can solve them. And by solving them is how you're going to build your know, like and trust factor. And that is what is going to make sales for you on TikTok. One thing to keep in mind here is that when you have a personal account on TikTok, you do need to reach 1000 subscribers in order to get a link in bio. So you have to be a little bit creative about how you're going to have a call to action or how you're going to send people over to your sales page. So in that case, you can, you know, have a call to action that they can send you a DM on Instagram for more info, or they can email you at a certain place for a freebie, or they can drop their email in the comments in order for you to send across the page to your product. So once you hit 1000 followers, it'll be really easy because you can just add a link as you can on, for example, Instagram. But until you reach that point, you do have to be a little bit creative of how you allow people to get in touch with you and make sales. Okay. So moving on, step five is all about boosting your sales. Now, there are a couple of tactics that I want to share with you, which have been super helpful in my own journey. And I think are really, really helpful to help you grow fast, not only on TikTok, but to actually make more money online. And those are number one, email marketing. So if there is a way for you to capture information of your visitors, whether it is through a freebie or a free sample, or let's say a free chapter of your ebook, do it specifically because one, it allows people to have a taste of what your potential product could be like. It also builds trust because you have given them something valuable valuable in exchange for nothing, just their email address. So it really helps you get that connection with your audience going. Email marketing has been instrumental in growing my business to six figures. And I highly recommend that once you've figured out what digital products you're selling and you've started to make your first few sales, you figure out how you can get people on your email list and sell to them through email as well. The second tactic that I want to share with you is to go live on TikTok. Nothing builds credibility and trust as, you know, going live with your audience on TikTok. You can simply go and chat with them while you're doing your makeup or having a coffee or talk about something controversial or any news in your industry, anything even remotely related to what you do or what you sell is fine. Although obviously talking about your product or the problem it can solve 
work or helping people with something can definitely help you make more sales on TikTok as well. And tactic number three is going to be to repurpose your content on other platforms. Now, the great thing about creating TikTok videos is that you can share the same content on platforms like Pinterest in the form of idea pins and also on Instagram in the form of reels. So you can actually leverage all these three platforms if you're just creating the one piece of content that you are on TikTok. So that brings me to the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.